Welcome to Minstrel's Heart Music, where he teaches you how to be a true worshipper on your instrument. I know you've missed me. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. And in today's episode, we're going to learn about chords. You've learned your musical notes. You've learned half steps and whole steps. You've learned your intervals. You've learned major scales. It is now time to learn the essential features, the essential building blocks of songs, which are chords. Give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. Give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. If you know this is for you or you just like to hear my voice, stay tuned. Our scripture for today is taken from Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Matthew 6:33. And the Bible says, "But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you." When I was in high school, I told my parents that I'm thinking of taking a gap year for college, you know, right after high school when you graduate. Some people decide that for the first year they are just going to chill and be at home and I don't know whatever they do. I said, me, I want to take a gap year, mommy. They looked at me, my parents looked at me and said, Master, hurry up and go to school and finish. Now, they didn't say it like that. My parents are very gentle and I love them very much. But maybe that's how it sounded in my head. Anyway, in the same way, there are no gap years in the kingdom of God. You don't delay things. If God has given you the gift to play the piano in church, don't say, I'm going to wait till after high school or I'm going to wait till uh, after I'm done with college. If you do that, the only thing you are playing is yourself because if you can't learn how to juggle church with school right now, when you enter into adulthood and things become worse, you have your job, you have your family, you have your children, you have church, you have multiple things to do you will be floundering you'll be struggling you'll be drowning because you didn't learn how to make the kingdom of god your priority right now so don't wait don't delay if god has given you the gift be faithful with it and i promise you that he will um give you more because the bible says that if you are faithful with little you will be faithful with much okay so we can describe chords in terms of their quality and in terms of their quantity quality and quantity and quality is is it major is it minor is it diminished is it augmented a major chord for example it makes you feel happy makes you feel like you have no problems in this world makes you feel like you're on top of the world all things bright and beautiful you'll hear major chords in a lot of hymns like jesus loves me this i know for the bible tells me so of that is um major chords you know yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me the bible tells me so all of those are major chords minor chords on the other hand make you feel depressed maybe not depressed but they make you they they have a sad tone have a make you feel sad you know like a song like hello is it me you're looking for? I know the words. And those are that that those are minor chords. We can talk about diminished and augmented chords in a later session. So how do you form a major chord? You can form a major chord in two ways, either using scales or using intervals. Let's say you want to form the F major chord the f major chord so we start with the f major scale if you remember we begin on f then we do um whole step whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step and to form the scale you can write it down or just play it and play it out in terms of the numbers okay so you know one two three four five six seven one then look out for the one the three and the five the one the three and the five so one i found my one two three found my three 
five. Found my five. And play the one, the three, and the five together. One, three, five. One, three, five. And once you've done that, you formed your F major chord. This is a chance for celebration. Clap for yourself, clap for yourself, clap for yourself. I repeat, you form your scale and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Then you take the one, the three, and the five, and you play those together and you form your major scale. Clap for yourself. Isn't the music so beautiful? Okay, and the next way to form the chord is with your intervals. If you remember, we talked about major thirds and minor thirds. We said that your major third is four half steps and your minor third is three half steps, four and three. So if you want to form a major chord, stay with me, don't leave me. You need a major third followed by a minor third. A major third followed by a minor third. How does that look? Let's go back to F. If I want to play the F major chord, I start on F, then I play a major third. One, two, three, four, four half steps. And I play that together. Then from the note I've landed on, I play a minor third, which is three half steps. One, two, three. And then I played those notes together. So I started with here and I played a major third, one, two, three, four. Then from here, I play a minor third, which is one, two, three. So this is my major chord formed by a major third and a minor third. And that is how you form your major chord using intervals, beautiful. So we move on to the minor chords. Minor chords is the same deal. If you want to form a minor chord, you can either do it with your scales or your intervals. Let's start with scales. If I wanted to form the F minor chord, and some of you are thinking, ah, didn't I just do F major? How can I do F minor? Yes, you can do F minor. Why can't a chord be both major and minor? Eh? What you'll do? <laughs> anyway, so we'll do the F minor chord. You can start by playing the F minor scale and pick out the 1, the 3, and the 5 from the F minor scale. So let's play it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or oh, let me play the whole scale for you. It goes like this. So you're going to play, you're going to pick out the 1, the 2, sorry, the 3, the five and this is your minor chord your f minor chord f a flat c f a flat c beautiful 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 so that would be how you do it using scales you fi you play the minor scale and then you pick out the one the three and the five if you wanted to do it using intervals remember for your major chord you did the major third then you did the minor third for your minor chords, you're going to do the minor third, then you'll do the major third. So minor third comes before major third. Okay? So the beginning interval tells you what chord you're trying to make. If you're trying to make a major chord, then you need to start with a major third. If you are trying to make a minor chord, then you need to start with a minor third. Okay? So minor third for the minor chord, major third for the major chord, okay? So, minor chord, major third, minor third. So I start from my starting notes, F, then I do a minor third, which is three half steps, three half steps. If you've forgotten how to count, um, I don't have a video for that. Maybe I'll find one and link it in the description below. Let's go. One, two, three. Then major third. One, two, three, four. Major third. And so I have my minor third interval, then my major third interval, 
then I put them together to form my minor chord. Oh, the simplicity of this is so beautiful. And if any of, if all of this fails, if you are confused up to this point, I have a shortcut for you. If you don't know how to form a minor chord, or if you don't know the minor scale, or if you don't know what a minor third is, well, you should know, because I've taught, I've taught you. But if you don't, just find a major chord, you know? Let's say I want to play the C major chord. And then look at what's in the middle, my E, and move it back by a half step and play the chord. You have successfully transformed a major chord into a minor chord. A major chord into a minor chord. So pick any chord. What chord do you want? You want D? Okay, let's do D. So you take your D your D major chord, sorry. Then you pick what's in the middle and you bring it down by a half step or you flatten it in, in big man's terms. And when you do that, you have successfully formed your D minor chord. Beautiful. So that is how to form a major chord and a minor chord. We've also talked about chord quality and we've talked about chord quantity. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the description, share with your friends, click the bell, and always remember, and it came to pass that the minstrel played and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. That is your goal. Have a blessed day.